You should really not sleep on Valor Searches in Horizon Forbidden West. Every skill tree has two of them, so we got 12 in total. And they will really help you out if you know how and when to use them. For one, they block incoming attacks, so make you untouchable while in the animation, which you can totally use to your advantage. In this video, I want to go over all of them so you can see which one is for you. Maybe you haven't tried them all yet. And of course, I want to tell you which one is just really good in general. The timestamps for each Valor Search are in the video bar let's start with the ranged master the first search in the hunter skill tree this one is pretty good because it enhances your range damage by 60 percent but also damage from your weapon techniques by 40 percent plus so these powerful attacks become stronger and you can also use them way more often thanks to the 200 percent stamina regen now you will also recover 10 percent health and i'll by the way be using all the valor searches in this video at rank 3 so this amazing with the warrior bow because you shoot really fast and then every shot gives you 10% health back so you're full health again in no time. So you can totally play around that health on hit play style while with other weapons it's more a nice extra. Like with the bolt blaster you only get health back on the first shot of your burst and with the blossling we got nothing back while the feller search was active. Also nice is that it stays active for a pretty long time and at the final upgrade, so at rank 3, so that also means that you only get this benefit when activating the Valor Search when all three bars are full. Then you also have an explosion appear upon killing an enemy, but turns out this very small and doesn't really do a lot of damage. So you will mostly be using this search for extra range damage, enhances for the weapon techniques and that health on hit with warrior bows. Moving on to the elemental fury in the trapper skill tree, which is all about building up the status effect on the machines faster and taking less damage from elemental attacks of machines with 40% extra resistance. And you will totally notice this, which can be nice against machines that are using elemental attacks often, like a snap mob for example, it takes way more hits from the machine to build up this effect, but it also works the other way around. This a normal acid shredder against a thunder jaw, and earlier in the fight I used it with the fellow search active, and then it's just very easy to build up the effect. At level 3 there's also an elemental explosion which happens after applying the elemental status effect on the machine, which can be nice against smaller machines to quickly take them out, but it's once again not really great or anything. Like the element of fury does what it's supposed to do pretty well, but I would argue that you can better spend your purple bar on something else. And by the way, if you enjoy the alright content here on the channel, then leaving a like on the video would of course really help me out. And subscribe if you're new so you don't miss the next Horizon upload. One of the fellow searches Sony showed a lot in pre-launch material is the Radial Blast. That as the name suggests, sends out this shock wave to enemies dealing damage in a large radius. Killing smaller machines outright and it's also amazing against human enemies easily wiping out their camp. Now sure, it won't kill larger machines immediately but it's still very nice as you will deal damage and just shock them instantly so you have a lot of time to deal damage without them being able to do anything back and if you activate this feller search when you have three bars then also after the blast you deal 100% extra damage against shocked enemies for 15 seconds so you can very easily use that to your advantage and maybe you already noticed it but while the other explosions I mentioned earlier do not really have a large radius the one from the radial blast is insane. If you're surrounded, you can very easily hit every machine and then just finish them off. It's very satisfying and I think you can make some really fun builds around this too. Now not all Valor Searches are for the offensive playstyle. In the Survivor skill tree we for example got Overshield which brings back the power of the Shield Weaver but now in an ability that is only active for a relatively short time but can of course be used over every armor set in the game. You get 400 shield over your health bar and once that blue bar is gone the red blinking lights appear and then your shield recharges. Just just like the Zero Dawn Shield Weaver, it seems to absorb at least one full hit first, which then doesn't directly hurt your health bar. So you have to get hit again before your regular health goes down. 20% of the melee damage from attacks return to the attacker, which is actually nice in rebel camps. They will just hit your shield, take damage, and if the shield depletes, then also a shock blast appear, which will hit them 
maybe even kill them. So the extra effects of this fellow search are really nice in certain situations, but not really against bigger machines, as the radius of the explosion is not really large, and small machines will have a hard time depleting the shield from the shield weaver in the first place. Now I would argue that the other defensive fellow search is better, but more on that a little later. If you like a more stealthy approach, then the stealth stalker in the infiltrator skill 3 is of course for you. This makes you invisible for enemies when sneaking in a camp for example like they have a really hard time spotting you even when you're standing almost in front of them. Stealth killing an enemy also refills some valor so you can stay invisible for longer although there is a short delay before your cloak works again after a stealth kill. So while human enemies are an insta kill anyways you also get increased damage against unaware targets plus 200% and this is how I was able to kill all the machines in Horizon Forbidden West with one shot. I go in depth on it in a video which I will also link to at the end of this one. So yeah, this is totally usable for more than just sneaking around in a camp. One of the best Velo searches by far is the power shot. You already saw us use this in many of the videos, especially the best weapons video, as it really enhances the power of every ranged weapon. At level 3, your next 5 shots deal plus 200% range damage. So this is only for regular shots by the way. Weapon techniques do not count. And while the other Valor Searches deplete over time, this one stays active until you used those 5 shots. And on level 3, so also when you activate this with 3 full bars, then these 5 shots also do not cost any ammo. So it's really smart to then use the most expensive ammo you have, like with the advanced spikes from the spike thrower, to very easily take out enemies. Especially after applying a status effect of course and also amazing is that you can refill ammo of that most expensive type without spending the resources yourself. Use the Valor Surge when you have all three bars. So the advanced explosive spikes are at zero here. Use the five shots and then when the Valor Surge is over you will have a full ammo again without it costing you anything. It's really amazing. The downside is that if you miss one of the five shots or more then it will still consume the valor so yeah that will be wasted and it's also not as great in combination with every weapon only really the best single shot weapons like the bull blaster can be nice but yeah it's hard to argue that that is better than the spike thrower which is way faster and also stronger like the sharp shot bow is also great with this valor search but overall they're just a few weapons that really benefit from this extra power. The trap specialist is a must if you like to use traps, you never guessed it. No, but it really enhances the damage by a ton, 100% on rank 3, elemental buildup and knockdown power is increased as well and the radius of those traps so they go off way more easily. So yes, this for the traps you put down with the tool window so every trap can instantly have the status effect apply which is insane and it will just do more damage of course as well but this also enhances the use of trip casters and it's actually pretty wild how long this fellow search is active so it will likely go way beyond the duration of the fight i still hope we get a feature so we can deactivate fellow searches so we don't waste a lot of the purple energy when we're not in combat anymore like that would make this one way better so fingers crossed now the other defensive fellow search toughened which also lasts for a huge amount of time namely more than three minutes and during that duration you will be healed for 80 health every two seconds and also take less damage from melee attacks so unless you get one shot pretty much nothing will kill you so you could totally argue that this is better than the overshield at protecting yourself you also have other effects like crushed resistance which that icon you maybe already noticed when this is active, it means that you take damage when jumping, rolling and running. So with this fellow search, the chances of that debuff appearing is reduced. You also ignore the claw strider roar with this fellow search and other sound attacks from machines just like the blinding effect from the watcher. So Again, it's overall better than the overshield, although maybe during rebel camps the overshield is preferred. 
Heartbreaker is the first Valor Surge in the Machine Master playstyle and as the name suggests this gives you 30 seconds to very easily remove all the parts from a machine so especially nice if you need a specific piece for an item or upgrade. Also nice that there's a 50% chance that a hit drops a scrap part which can contain some extra shards but also ammo resources that can come in handy. So this fellow search really has a specific use just like the next one melee might. If you like to use your spear then this one is key because with all three bars you get 300% more melee damage. So you can very easily take out rebels or smaller machines but even better is the unlimited spear energy and power attacks knock down targets so what you can then do is spam a power attack so a charged heavy attack on bigger machines they will then eventually fall over and they can apply many resonator marks with regular heavy attacks. Normally you have to build this energy with melee attacks but now you can just spam it thanks to the unlimited spear energy and then just grab a boat to detonate them for a ton of damage. Like this totally makes the melee playstyle sustainable in these bigger fights although you will still have to watch out for the many stomp attacks from these larger machines that will knock you on the ground. Now going back to the Machine Master skill tree because here you also find the Chain Burst and this another one of those abilities that really surprised me because this lets you very easily take care of multiple enemies. The damage you do is namely transferred to other nearby targets so you can just focus on one and then see the others drop on the ground as well which kinda wild. Also elemental build up works across machines so by freezing one machine the other builds of the element too and can be frozen at the same time. So you can very easily control the battlefield against multiple targets and it's just really cool to see two machines destroyed at the same time while you focus on one. On level 3 you also have 100% knockdown power so you will sometimes see machines fall down, especially machines you're not focused on. But yeah, as you may be guessed, this Valor Search only really works against groups of medium and smaller machines. Like you really have to have multiple enemies facing you at the same time. And it's also really hard to then focus on components of the machines as you will likely kill them before you know it. It's still a pretty unique ability. And the final fellow search, the critical boost you find in the warrior section, is one I discussed many times before and I went in depth in a previous video which I will link to in the video description. So this increases the crit chance for regular hits and even more for weapon techniques, crit damage and also your critical strike damage. So it's really amazing with the rapid fire warrior bow so you see these yellow numbers appear way more often. Freeze a machine first First, then pop the Valor Surge and you can get a machine down in no time without them really able to do anything back. Again more tips on how to enhance this playstyle in that video, link in the video description. And overall of course subscribe for Everything Horizon if you haven't already. A like on the video would really support the channel. And you can also check out my previous video on that Stealth Stalker build I mentioned before where I'm able to take out machines in just one hit. You can watch it by clicking on the screen. For now though, I will speak to you in the next one. Goodbye.